bout of the evening. It is scheduled for eight three-minute rounds of professional light heavyweight boxing action. It is sponsored by beautiful Samoa. Introducing first, making his way to the red corner, this is Jackson King! And his opponent making his way to the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, here is Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for eight three-minute rounds of professional light heavyweight boxing action. It is sponsored by beautiful Samoa. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with silver and red trim, weighing in at 78.9 kgs, residing in Tawantin, Queensland, Australia, representing Noosa Box Office, trained by Israel Kani. He has seven professional fights with four wins, three losses, Three big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Jackson King! <laughs> and his opponent fighting out of the blue corner enters the ring wearing white trunks with green and gold trim. He weighed in at 78.8 kgs, residing in the Fortitude Valley, Queensland, Australia, representing Fortitude Boxing in Bowen Hills, trained by Greg Eddy. He is a former Queensland State light heavyweight title holder and Australian light heavyweight title holder. He has eight professional fights with seven wins, one loss, five big wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Connor Wallace! Fighters, this is the please, for Phil Holiday's instructions. Gentlemen, I'll give you the instructions to change them. Let's have a nice clean fight. Take yourselves all the time. Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves. Eight rounds, light heavyweights. Connor Wallace in the blue corner. Jackson King in the red corner. Right We've got two southpaws standing in front of each other. First time tonight. You know, Benny, a lot of southpaws don't like fighting other southpaws. I spoke with Connor Wallace about this, and he, he much prefers, he loves boxing against other southpaws, and he is heavy-handed. That's it, mate. Well, 
Southpaws fight as many Southpaws as Orthodox do, so it's always hard when they're standing in front of you. Connor Wallace, last fight here in this arena back earlier this year. Close decision, lost to Letty. Keen to bounce back tonight, get back on the winner's circle and take it to 8-1. and one. Jackson King applying a lot of pressure here early in round number one. Bout number five here live on the Gold Coast. We are building into the main event. Shannon the Shotgun O'Connell versus Taylor Robinson over ten hard rounds. This is good work from Jackson King. I spoke with Jackson King yesterday, and his last words were to, to me were, we are coming to fight. So, guys, he, this team, they are here. They are here to cause an upset. Well, it's only the one the one loss in his last outing. To, and he has something to prove as well. He told me that he has been training so hard, and he is really determined to, to show the work that he's put in. Former Australian champion. Great record. Been very excited to... Watch Connor come back. Wallace lands some hard shots then. Wallace told me he's been working really hard at sitting down on his punches. Is there, is there a cut I on, think, on yes. Wallace's eye? I believe there's a small nick over the right eye of Connor. Phil Halliday asserting his position there as referee there. Is Connor sort of snuck in a sneaky one off the, the clinch? Wallace told me he's been working on sitting down on his punches using his left hand more and increasing his work rate. Good jabbing there from Connor Wallace. Good range control from Connor. Nice shot. Beautiful. Can't stand there, Jackson King, if you want to trade with the bigger fighter. Connor really starting to measure here. Not quite clean, but landing some heavy punches on the gloves. Connor Wallace looked absolutely exceptional yesterday. Looked very strong for this weight division. I was only talking to him the other day. I was saying he, how strong and lean and big he looks. Great first round. Both boxes re really letting the hands go. Beautiful shot there. I think, I think Jackson King, he did okay then, all things considered. You know, he, he took some hard punches. We, we, the close of the first round, we see Connor Wallace returning to the corner with blood coming from his eye. He has also taken a few punches. Jackson King is not the favoured fighter in this bout, but he is determined. These guys are here to win. Absolutely, I agree. Oh, there's a hard left hand from Connor. And right hand, and left hand. This fight comes to you from our beautiful Samoa sponsors. Connor Wallace versus Jackson King. Jackson King four and three, stepping up here in class. Debuted in 2017, Jackson King last fought against Abdul Mayweather, who was absolutely red hot earlier in March this year. Round two. Now stepping it up against another, another red hot light heavyweight. He's rangy, Connor, isn't he, Ben? Very, very long. Uses it well, too. He just has that little bit of a slide out. And comes back with that counter left. It's looking really nice and finding a home. Connor Wallace trade with Greg Eddy, Stephen Della, Fortitude. Again, nice. I Ooh. think the big shots. Hard shots. I think the corners have a, have a part to play in this, in this bout once again. The Irish are in the building. I can hear him. Jackson King is Jackson doing King. the right thing, getting on the chest, take, taking his reach away. Jackson King has an excellent coach, Israel Carney. He was the Australian super middleweight champion and he also fought here back in the day. Nice uppercut. Similarly, Connor Wallace, Ooh, trained by Greg Eady, 
who I think is one of the most talented boxers I've ever seen in a boxing ring. A very, very good fighter and my Commonwealth Games teammate way back when in 2002. Very good fighter, Greg Eady. I think Connor body could, work is good. I think Connor could control this fight from range. He's smothering in and letting Jackson land those short, dirty boxing shots. Phil Holiday asking him in round two just to keep it up. Jackson King trying to apply some pressure here by pushing forward. This is, this is ten rounds, and and, oh, and I like no, eight rounds. I, eight round fight. Eight rounds. Right, and and I like what I see with Jackson King in investing early with the body body work. Absolutely. Oh, a bit, sorry, we're well, great rounds. Great back foot from Connor Wallace there. I love seeing that in a fighter, Ben. I, I say it a lot. Good work, also from Connor here. From Beautiful work oh, from Connor. Team of hard here. Beautiful work. It's a knockdown in round number two. Jackson King has gone down. Connor Wallace really teeing off there. I don't think that wasn't sensible from Jackson King. And I think he took the knee. I don't, I don't know that he... He's in trouble, King. He's yeah. just got to weather the storm. Ride this out. There's only 15 seconds left in the round. He lives to fight another round. He's made it through. Well done, Jackson King. And big finish to that round for Connor Wallace, getting the eight count. I think you can tick a few boxes. He said he wanted to use his left hand more. We've seen him using it quite a lot. He said he wanted to increase his work rate, and he is working. He's here to make a statement. He's here to... Well, he has to. You know, yes. He's in with a guy, four and three. He wants to get back to the pinnacle of a of this division, in, particularly here in Australia, and, th and there's some great light heavyweights out there, you know what I mean? He was bitterly disappointed in his last performance, is what he told me at the, in the gym at Fortitude last week. Letty Letty getting the decision here earlier, back in the year of April, over Connor Wallace. What's going on with Letty Letty? Is he, he going to come back or what's going to happen with the old? I am not too sure on that one. Samoan Warrior. Here we go, round three. Connor Wallace has an army back there. I think he's flown a lot. A Learjet in from Dublin or something. <laughs> round three. Somebody's got to remind Connor's cornerman to <laughs> head down the stairs. Get and down the ropes, <laughs> Greg Eddy. You can't stay in there. You cannot join. As much as sometimes you'd like to. Connor Wallace using the feint there, sticking out the jab. Transitioning back off. He's not letting Jackson King get in there too close. Oh, good body shot. Works the body well. You know, what, what we're seeing is him not loading up so much, being fast, very impressive. You know, we see so many fighters that are get caught up with trying to land very, very heavy shots, and it's, especially when the, round's got, the, the fight's got a long way to go. Take your time, focus on landing, Pick and be selective. Put an accent on different punches. You don't have to be heavy every punch. That's a, that's a hard thing for, for a young fighter to get hold of, the, the idea of not putting everything onto every hand. I agree with you. I think it kind of keeps that a little bit lengthier and he starts popping his shots and he pulls the pair out a bit. He's dominating from that space. Jackson starting to apply a bit of pressure there. He's yeah. going to south. Oh, he's south, but... Switched it back. <laughs> he wants to mix it in there with the bigger guy. Connor getting back to range. Precision with the jab. Jackson is returning to the, to the same movement. Blocking and then rush, rushing in and trying to trying to find some success in close. But when he gets into this oh, range, oh, he's down. Beautiful uppercut by Connor Wallace. A punch that I love seeing in the sport of boxing, and we need to see it more. He might have trouble coming back from this. He's hurt. The outcomes. Yeah, Connor Wallace trainer. gets it. Israel Kani is an excellent trainer, and he is looking after his fighter. He, he could see just from the look of his face. He could tell. That's enough. 
and that that is what an excellent coach does. When you enter the ring, great rule. there is great so much at stake, uh, and and the boxer's health is at stake. And and he he wasn't going to quit. That's an excellent training. I'm I'm really impressed by that, Israel Carney. That is fantastic. My friends, Connor Wallace is back. Eight and one. He redeems himself with what went down earlier in the year. That is now in the past. What what next? Can, can he can he get the rematch with the Letty Letty, or is that is that tied up in another oh, fight now? Letty, How does Letty. that work? I think Letty Letty. He doesn't want to box anymore. I think he wants to oh, be. The, right. He's the new trainer of Andrew Hunt, and I think he wants to focus on training. And I'd like to see the rematch. I think it'd be fantastic. However, I just don't think we will see it. Yes. Well, well, in assessing that performance, I would say Connor Wallace, he, he checked all the boxes. He, he wanted to do a few certain things, and I think we saw him do, do those certain things. Well, well done. He, 100%. He was comfortable to walk forward and get a bit dirty with it and box and, and show that he's here to stay. Crowd sure. building here. Th th those guys have put in a lot of work with him. Steve Della and Greg Eady down at Fortitude Boxing with Luke Melton. They, they run a great outfit down there. I'll tell you what, they're, they're busy tonight. Yes. Big fights have they got. This is like the they fort are busy. Is this a Tasman show or a Fortitude show? <laughs> they're everywhere. Hats off to Jackson King coming there. It was a, it was a big task. Ladies and start. gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes and eight seconds into round number three. We had a corner retirement by the red corner. Therefore, your winner by TKO, fighting out of the blue corner, Connor 